Hello! I'm back on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> Welcome to my video on the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus happening in the wee hours of this Friday morning, November 19th. So, yeah, this is a special one uh, where it's a partial lunar eclipse. It's really going to help to like sweep out something old and outdated. And yeah, it's at 27 degrees, which is a critical degree. But 27 is a nine numerologically, which is the number of healing and approaching completion. So this is going to be, yeah, a massive time for letting go in favor of increasing your abundance and stability, which is what Taurus is all about. Exciting. So the decks we're using for this reading are the Sacerid Beto Tarot. Uh, I'm going to draw an extra card from Secrets of the Millionaire Mind for how we can sort of align with the abundance that's possible with this moon. Angels and Ancestors. Moonology, of course. <laughs> and my new feminist oracle. So I was intrigued to feel drawn towards that one. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out. Yay! So let's get started. Ooh, so the card splitting angels and ancestors is mountain. Stand your ground. So this moon is going to be amazing for increasing your energy of perseverance and really help you to form that plan for making it up the mountain. Exciting. Yay. So bam, first card, full moon, lunar eclipse, and Taurus. <laughs> Yay, shuffling moonology. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. That was actually the last full moon we had. And so in that one, we learned a lot about our anger and our frustrated reactions. And so this one is probably going to be calling you to like, keep your head. This full moon lunar eclipse is happening conjunct the fixed star Algol, which is symbolized by like a severed head. So yeah watch your like tongue I guess I don't know be aware that anything really annoying and agitating is exactly what is getting purged out with this moon and so you don't need to like participate <laughs> in the anger <laughs> amazing so the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus Woo! always excited to use a new deck I've had it for a little while. But, ooh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yeah. Talk about keeping your cool and trusting that like universal justice will be served. Wow. Adversity is a key that can open many doors. Hmm. <laughs> Yay. So. Oh yeah, this uh, lunar eclipse too is apparently, it's a partial lunar eclipse, but it's the longest partial lunar eclipse that we've had since 1440. It lasts over three hours. So there'll be this huge energetic portal um, surrounding this moon for like, yeah, maximizing the release. <laughs> Ooh, so the card splitting the Sacerabito Tarot is the Nine of Cups. So make a huge wish under this moon where it is a lunar eclipse and has some weird like algal energy attached. Uh, make sure you include in your intention that the results will be for your highest good and the highest good of all. That adds a little like extra protection to, you know, the results. <laughs> but yeah, hmm. it looks like this moon is really going to bring a lot of people out of their shell where it comes to like something they've been working on behind the scenes that is like ready for action now. Mm -hmm. Exciting. I've been feeling like unusually motivated lately. It's been, yeah, really interesting to see um, how the sort of like transformations are affecting. It's really cool. Yay. So. Bamp. 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 So the full moon in Taurus. Oh boy. What's going to be the main theme of this moon? What will be the main challenge? What will this moon illuminate? in favor of greater stability. And what's everybody's best advice? Hey! 
All right. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to pull an extra card from Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. That's clearly the one. Whew. That was fast. All right. <gasps> the main readings. Thanks for sticking around if you're still here. <laughs> we start with, ooh, Trader. Exchange energy to create abundance. So keep developing that long-term vision. This moon will really show you what can be brought in to support your long-term vision. And it's also a time for healing, balsamic moon. So how interesting, I was saying that this one's actually really about release, even though full moons are usually about manifestation because it's an eclipse. The balsamic moon is the phase right before the new moon when it's best to let go of things like addictions and outdated patterns. Yay. So you're trading out crappy old patterns <laughs> for new, much more like stabilizing ones. Wow. And so our... Oracle lady is Malala Yousafzai. <laughs> Amazing. The most effective weapon is pen and paper. So yeah, where this is the full moon in Taurus, which rules Venus, there'll be an important surge of creativity that actually helps you find your focus. Amazing. And so we do have the five of pentacles. So this moon will also mark the end of probably quite an extended period of feeling very poor for whatever reason. This moon is going to provide the opportunity you need to, yeah, trade out your outdated uh, poverty mindset and access the help you need to lift you up to the next level. Yay. So the main reading, ooh, we start with arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. So yeah, I can't help but mention again, the presence of that fixed star algal in this one. So it will be important to, yeah, include with your intentions, the highest good of all, the like greatest benefit to yourself. Um, yeah, do protect your energy. Do watch your tongue and realize that, yeah, a lot is going to be revealed that's going to really help you choose that next direction mm -hmm. oh interesting so we have the new moon in Taurus as our card from moonology with the confirmation that prosperity lies ahead this is going to be such an important moon for releasing your prosperity blockages and welcoming in what you've been working so hard to achieve and so we have Lizzo amazing I love it so don't wait until it's too late to get what you want choose self-love choose life. So this moon really, again, is going to show you what you want. It's going to show you who you are as a creative person. And yeah, bring more sort of like rhythm and flow and harmony into your life. Amazing! So what's going to be the theme of this full moon? Lunar eclipse in Taurus and it's judgment reversed. Yes, you've already heard the call and this moon is going to give you the kickstart you need to dive head first into what you know is going to make you so much happier. Yay! I love this particular judgment when it's upright. She looks like she's in like a blanket cocoon, like processing. <laughs> but you've done that. You're coming out of your cocoon. And yeah, it's pointing back at sun card energy. So you are going to blossom after this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus as like the beautiful butterfly that you are. Yeah! Amazing. So what will be the main challenge of this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus? And it's the nine of wands reversed. Yeah, it will show you where your boundaries haven't been strong enough. There will be a massive change that will ask you to like, whoa, hold on tight energetically. And yeah, roll with any unexpected changes that come with this full moon because as we know Uranus is in Taurus right now so it's interacting with this full moon lunar eclipse energy to bring in like totally unexpected change Ooh. <laughs> so what will this moon illuminate in favor of greater stability the three of pentacles it really will show you who is on your side? Who is ready to lift you up and support you in this amazing vision you have for what you want your legacy to be at this point? This is going to be an amazing moon for an upsurge in, yeah, the very driven energy you need to build literally your business. The Three of Pentacles is ruled by Mars in Capricorn, which is the energy of, yeah, like bringing it entrepreneur style. 
wow this card usually shows like a scaffolding with somebody building and then someone on the ground has like the plan for it all so yeah real emphasis on creativity but in favor of like business building success building future legacy building amazing wow so What's our best advice for this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus? And it's the Ten of Swords reverse. You will be asked to face your anxieties. You will be asked to face your fears. You will be asked to answer what particular gigantic personal pattern you've been avoiding breaking. Wow, the Ten of Swords upright is the card of like realizing that you've been beating a dead horse and it's time to shift into like Ace of Swords mode. And when it's reversed, yeah, there's something sticking you. You're like, you're like, you have yet to fully like wake up from the nightmare. Whoa. So your advice is to like consciously choose to not put up with any like baloney energy from others and realize that's what's guiding you towards what you're ready to trade out and welcome in instead. Wow. So the card that I picked up by accident is drum, dream and journey. So this could be a really cool one for like literally meditating in favor of receiving your next steps. Wow. So what's our secrets of the millionaire mind card? Yeah, be willing to do what's hard. Look at all this cool like mountain triangle energy. So you are rising to the challenge under this moon. You're ready to do things in a way that you never have before in terms of bringing the practicality that's going to get you to this beautiful oasis of life that you've been envisioning for so long. Yay! So that advice card was a bit of a poopy downer. <laughs> so yeah, what's our advice for like lifting out of this like as yet unbroken pattern? Woo. And we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you like need to do this so that you can take on all these like amazing tasks that you've been visualizing. There's so much more you want to be taking on in your career, but you've almost been like talking yourself out of it energetically as a result of like the ongoing choices you're making to stay in this sort of like stuck comfort zone sort of place. But you are ready to, yeah, start setting these important boundaries that allow you again, yeah, to take on those other sort of skills, tasks, responsibilities that you know are going to help you make it to that ultimate finish line. Yay. So, what are our messages of hope moving forward? We start with Shield Maiden. Make plans and focus. Wow, all the cards like read themselves. Amazing. So not only are you so ready to protect your energy through this full moon, but you are ready to make that solid plan that draws in this prosperity that so clearly lies ahead. I love that that showed up because the Moonology Full Moon in Taurus card is actually your dreams need a practical plan. So here you are ready to rock this moon's energy to make that plan and put it into action. Wow. So yeah, step out of your comfort zone. North node. Amazing. So if you feel like you're not aware of your life purpose at this point, on the other side of this moon, you will be aware of what that is. Wow. If you're interested in finding more about your life purpose, you should join my Cosmic Bliss Queen's Life Purpose Activation Portal over on Facebook. I'll link it below. It's my new private Facebook community where, yeah, we share inspiration. I provide daily posts talking about the energy of the day. There's a weekly live talking about a major theme of the week. And yeah, monthly challenges that we follow along together. Yay! But if you're not on Facebook, join my email list, which I'll also link below to get a weekly newsletter talking about those things. Hmm, so our next higher self card, excuse my little tangent, is Greta Thunberg. Amazing, a simple action might be the best way to deal with a complex problem. Ooh, so yeah, we're all ready to get a lot more focused about what needs to be done, not only in our own spheres, but in the world at large. And this moon is really gonna help you expand your vision and realize that you are an important part of the future. Wow. 
So our final higher self card is the five of wands. You're ready to fight in a whole new way. Not like active fighting, but like igniting these important fires that are catalysts for the change that you so crave on like a deep soul level. You're ready to go there and rise to whatever has been challenging you and keeping you from allowing yourself to shine. Hmm. So on the other side of this moon, you will be shining brighter than ever before. And that is so exciting. <laughs> Yay! So that's it for this time. Thanks so much for watching. Welcome back if you have been following me for a while. And welcome if you're new. Yay! Uh, if you're watching this before the full moon, you still have a couple days to order a reading from me if that's something you've been considering at my old prices. My prices are going up on the other side of the full moon. But yeah, check out my Etsy. The link will also be below <laughs> for my reading offerings and prices. And yeah, I have a whole bunch of new exciting things in the works. I have a new coaching program called the Bliss Queen Initiation, which is an eight week immersion meant to help you ditch overwhelm and return to feeling confident, empowered and vibrant in your daily life. So if you're interested in that, um, let's book a blissful life strategy call. I will also link <laughs> the application for that below and yeah fill it out we'll set you up a call either way you will receive the first steps towards getting back to bliss exciting so yep that's it for this time thanks so much for watching until next time keep your hearts open keep your eyes on the skies and i'll talk to you soon Bye bye